All right here with Washington State women's golf coaches Kelly Kamimura and Emma White. Uh, Coach Kamimura, we'll start with you. Uh, your team was able to play in seven tournaments this season. You guys were a, had a, sh a shortened season due to the COVID-19 outbreak and the instant stoppage of all plays. Uh, but you were able to put together a strong season in those seven tournaments. You collected three top five, uh, top five finishes, and you were able to collect a second-place finish in your final tournament this season. Just how do you feel like the season went, and how was the team just gelling overall at, uh, as season was called? You know, this whole year, I would say the team has really come together, and we were focused on one vision, and that was Road to the Ridge, um, with hosting um, a NCAA regional for the first time in WSU history on the women's side. At Palouse Ridge, we were really focused on um, knowing that we had the caliber of team to make it to NCAAs and working hard to, to get there. And so, you know, we had some events where, you know, the team really came out strong. We had some learning events, you know, where we, they were learn and grow events too throughout the year. But I think the one thing is, is that this team really came together and fought for each other. They worked hard for each other to, um, you know, to achieve our goals and also, um, you know, really wanted that for not just themselves, but for the program as a whole. And so, you know, coming out at Meadow Club um, and finishing second was, was just awesome. It was an awesome showcase of what this team's capable of in a tough field. Um, and, and we were excited about that. But, you know, with the, with the season ending early, that was always disappointing because we were excited and, and in position to um, – advance you know with three tournaments left um but also excited about the trajectory of where things were going mm -hmm. and i would just echo what what kelly said about the season and i think you know although it was disappointing to end our season early um i think that to end like that was really special and to have the two girls win their first college tournament super exciting and just looking back now knowing that was our last tournament of the year it um yeah it was just really special and speaking of that last tournament of the year senior marie lute hansen and uh, sophomore amy chu tied to win the meadow club collegiate invitational the final, they didn't know it was going to be the final tournament at the, at the time but it had to be such an exciting moment such a special moment for just those two to get their first collegiate win to share that as teammates uh, just talk a little bit about that experience and just that day just for as a team and just you guys as coaches to be able to witness that you know it was it's a very unique um experience to have two teammates you know win the individual title and share that honor um, it was, you know, as a coach, we were kind of, you know, we bounced around between players and Amy and Marie both started on one. So they both finished on 18. It was a shotgun start that day. Um, Marie finished and um, Emma had been with her on the approach shot there. And I was back with Amy and came up 18 with her. And Amy um, had about, you know, she had about probably a six footer um, to tie Marie. She didn't know it. I actually didn't know it until I got to the green and Marie was like, you know what, if Amy gets up and down, she's going to win. If she makes a bogey, we tie. Um, and so um, Amy had a six footer for bogey on that hole and, and made it. And I was just so excited because just what an exciting thing to have two players win that individual honor. And just to know how much work goes in behind the scenes, um, you know, that they could share that. They both gave speeches. Um, they both got trophies um, and it's just exciting time. And then to have the team finish second and also be able to celebrate that. It was a really exciting moment for, for the team. Of course, you know, the team wanted to win too, but Oregon state just came out and brought it that day. We played well, they just killed it. And, um, and so it was a, uh, it was a really fun way to now looking back end our season at the time, obviously didn't know that. Um, but gets everyone really excited about what's next and and the future mm -hmm. and the interesting thing about that that tournament and that golf course we um we didn't know where the scores were at we don't really have cell service so when I was with Marie and we got to the last hole and I finally had service again and checked it and I had no idea she was tied for the lead so that was just a super exciting moment um between us you know, and I could just, she was so excited at the potential of winning her first college event. So that was pretty special. Yeah. And I think on that note too, it was, you know, not only was I, you know, when Amy had that six footer, I could see that Marie really wanted her to make that too, that she was 
excited to be able to share in that honor with her. And I think for some of the cultural things on our team that we're building, that, that was a really special moment as a coach too, because she was just as happy for her teammate as she was for herself. And, um, and so that was really awesome. I, I, we were excited about that, but it is, the Meadow Club was unique because there is no cell service. And so golf stat and the tools that we use to be able to know where the scores are at, we, we didn't know um, until you came into the clubhouse and can connect to Wi-Fi. So it was, it was definitely a little bit different, but it's always exciting when you connect to Wi-Fi and you see things like that. So <laughs> a good refresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that title was just kind of the cherry on top to a fantastic senior season for Marie. Her mm -hmm. fellow senior, Ella D. Bern uh, Bernadine, had a really strong season for you guys. Uh, Bernadine finished her season uh, with her best finish down at Metalwood. Uh, just talk about those guys, uh, those uh, players' overall seasons and just what they've meant to the program overall. Um, you know, both Marie and Elodie have definitely left an impact on the program. Um, you know, Marie is the very uh, vocal leader, I would say. She's she's more extroverted, and Elodie's more introverted in the way that she leads and the way that she does things. She more um, – so it's it's been fun to see them over the last four years and how they've grown. Um, you know, Elodie in the classroom has been outstanding. Um and, and improved on the golf course and a hard worker. And Marie, um, she's to see her grow on the golf course in the classroom too over her time here has been really exciting. We're just so proud of them. I think that's one of the things as coaches that you really look forward to is to see at the end of four years, you know, how they have grown as young women, athletes and students. And both of them have taken such huge strides and, um, and we're excited um, to just to see how they've grown and excited for their futures. and. Um, look forward to what's next. Yeah, they've been um, huge for our program. And I look back and I uh, remember it was our first trip to Europe recruiting uh, and we saw both of them there. And it's just, you know, kind of crazy to think now, what, five years, six years later, um, they're graduating and to see their growth and, you know, how far they've come, it's, it's really cool. And I think that's one of the, the special things. Um, with you know all college athletics to just see that growth um so excited for them and, and their future you had a trio of underclassmen this season that had an out, uh, outstanding season uh sophomores amy chu who we mentioned won the individual title down at metal club uh darcy habgood and then jenny ham uh both they were both in the top four in average uh, average score for your team this season uh, just talk about the season that they had overall and just how big are they and just the developing the foundation moving forward? You know, we, we have such an awesome core group. Um, you know, what they bring on the golf course, but also what um, a lot of the things that we've worked on with our team culture and building leaders on our team, it's been really fun to see how they've grown and developed. Each, you know, in their own way. I think Darcy has fought a lot of adversity and, you know, she's had off and on with her knee injury but man, she is determined and um, she fought back and Meadow Club definitely, I mean, it didn't feel great, but um, she was able to fight through and post some great numbers that really helped our team. Um, Jenny, um, I think she's just getting started. Um, you know, she, she's such a great player um, transitioning to college and just life in Pullman. I think she's done such a good job and is determined to um, you know, be the best that she can be, but I really think she's just getting started and Amy's just kind of come into her own, you know, she has had that leadership background, has a lot of competitive experience and she's learning so much about herself and for her to reach her true potential, what that looks like. Um, and we also have Emily Baumgart, who is a junior that, um, redshirt junior who, you know, keeps getting better and learning more and more and really buying into what it takes for her to be the best that she can be. And so to have those players coming back is really exciting and adding to, I think that's one of the things as a coach you just are so proud of is you look at how they're improving on the golf course, obviously as, you know, golfers and golf coaches, that's uh, a very important, you know, um, how, how we're doing and what we do on the golf course, but who they are as people and how they're developing as leaders and who they are, you know, once they graduate and going out into the world. And I'll tell you what, we have such an awesome group and we're just really proud of them and excited, excited for the future and to watch them continue to grow. And I think uh, when 
you know, half your lineup is underclassmen. I think that just says a lot about the future of the program and where we're headed. Um, and I think that that's what we strive for is to keep bringing in players that are going to just grow and develop and, um, yeah, super excited for them and, and their future and know there's a lot more left um, for all of them to achieve. And, and even there, you know, we have two other players that, are, that haven't hit their stride yet that are working hard, um, Janine Surge and, and Cami March. I mean, Cami is one of the hardest workers I've ever met, um, came into the game a little bit later, and her, she's got an outstanding swing and is now just working on developing her, her confidence to go out there. But when it clicks, I mean, watch out. I mean, she's, she's going to be ready to go. She's dedicated. And, and Janine, after her freshman year, working on a couple things and really buying into the team culture, I'm really excited to see what that looks like for her um, as she continues to, to develop and get better too. I mean, it's, it, they're just such a fun group. They're fun to work with. Um, they're coachable and they're really buying into what we're trying to do. So it makes every day as a coach, you know, really fun and, and something to look forward to. So when you get those challenges, like what we're going through right now, you're prepared and looking for ways to help them develop when they can't get on the golf course. Uh, changing subjects here. Uh, you guys were scheduled to host the NCAA regional this season. Uh, that was fortunately canceled along with the rest of the season due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, just talk a little bit about that. Uh, have you guys heard anything from the NCAA or what's the outlook on maybe potentially getting able to host again? And just obviously it was disheartening, but understandable why the, the tournament was canceled. Yeah. I mean, definitely understand the, the necessity to, to cancel that regional. Um, I will say our, um, event management and facility group here has worked so hard. Um, the golf course has put in a lot of time to make sure that it's it's ready to go to put on a great event. We are definitely hopeful that we'll get that opportunity next year, but I know there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainties with, with the NCA and what they want to do and how they're going to, um, you know, what they're going to look to do moving forward. But gosh, we would love that opportunity again to be able to bring teams from all over the country to Pullman to show them what a great place it is and uh, how wonderful our, our golf course is um, and how lucky we are to call Palouse Ridge home. Um, but we'll see. I, I, we, I know Tom who who's done a great job running the event hasn't, hasn't heard anything back yet, but we've definitely thrown that out there that we would love to host um, next spring if possible. Yeah. Uh, final question here is, you know, a lot of uncertainty right now, Washington state along with the rest of the NCAA, uh, as long as it comes to athletic seasons, uh, you guys are still having a 20 to 21 season that you guys are going to be prepping for. How does, how does this whole outbreak, this, this whole social distancing affect uh, the Cougars and affect you all as coaches as you try to prepare for next season, not being able to meet in person, not being able to be around one another? How, how has that really challenged things for you guys as coaches? I think this time period, it's, it's, I, I think of it like bigger than coaching, you know, it's, it's more mentoring um, in this phase, helping um, our athletes know that we're still connected and working towards our, our mission as a team, but also making sure that they're taking care of themselves and handling, you know, um, the stay home policies, you know, that they're handling those from a mental perspective. Um, we have players from all over the world. So, you know, Marie went back to Denmark. Um, uh, Amy and Darcy are back in Australia Jenny's still here. Um, you know, we've got people that went home in Washington and California. Um, but I think the big thing is, especially our Aussies had to be in a 14 day quarantine. Um, so they literally couldn't leave a room for 14 days and that's tough. I mean, it's worth it for, for the cause and, you know, you know, saving lives and helping people and, and staying healthy. But, um, I think we've kind of had to switch gears into more of connection. Um, we've been checking in with our players, um, four days a week and then I split them up and then having two team meetings a week where those team meetings are more focused on, um, you know, team building connection, letting them know we're here. Um, and, and then another team meeting where we're looking at what can we do um, when we're not uh, together to practice. Uh, when, when our players are in Pullman, we have a Coug pride meeting. Um, our core values are purpose, re resilience, integrity, discipline, and energy. And we always Give, give ourselves scores one through five on what that looks like. So we've still been doing that um, in their current circumstance. Um, but I think more than anything, just like this is a bigger than coaching for us, I, I like our players to understand it's bigger than us right now. It's trying to help 
you know, do what we can in a small way to help other people and to help our communities um, stay healthy and focus on the positive and what's next. And we're also, um, you know, finding ways that, yes, you might not be getting the physical reps right now, but there's a lot of things with golf and really with any sport that you can be doing right now um, from a mental, emotional perspective, and especially a game like golf. So um, we've been doing some work with our mental coach uh, on some different things. And I think, you know, that'll be really helpful for them coming out of this. We actually have to have a team meeting at like 9.15 at night because we've got all different time zones. And so one of the things we do that's a little bit cheesy, but we do a, a dance party to just kind of get people up and moving and um, connecting. And it's been, it's pretty funny. I've never done a Zoom dance party. So um, it's kind of funny to, to see everyone moving and, and, um, and that's made it a little bit uh, fun. <laughs> yeah, they are good fun. <laughs> It sounds like a lot of fun. Well, coaches, we appreciate you taking this time. We really do. Uh, stay safe out there. Stay, keep social distancing, and we'll talk to you soon. Go Kooks. Go Kooks. Thank you. Go Kooks. <laughs>